Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year, it is January 1st up here in Chile, Michigan. And uh, we've got a fun video for you today. We are playing in East Point, Michigan uh, at what used to be my home course, Spindler Park. Uh, we're playing the winter layout today. It is gonna be 18 holes. So we'll play through nine baskets, uh, 18 tee pads from different locations. So it's gonna be fun. This course has always been sneaky difficult for me. I don't know why some of the shots it just can kind of creep up on you but for today's video we got something special we're going to be doing mvp only round today so between the gyro box and a couple other things i've gotten this year uh, i've got quite a stack of mvp discs so i've got a mix of mvp axiom and, and streamline in the bag so it should be fun today so let's go ahead and get started at hole number one it is 360 feet i believe par three Pretty good ton of shots. So let's see if we can get up there. We are going to throw, where is it? Ah, we're gonna see if we can get up there with the time lapse. Ooh, if that comes back, it'd be nice. All right, we got a good skip. All right, I think we're gonna have a jump putt at it. So I don't have a normal judge putter, so this will be interesting. Once we get up there, I'll show you what we're throwing today. Okay, so for the biggest disadvantage I think for me today is not having my judges because I love putting with the, the EMAC judge. So of all the putters that I have for MVP and Axiom, none of them are in putty plastic. So a couple I'm gonna try today. I have a Total Eclipse Proxy, which does feel pretty good in the hand. Also good for throwing, so we're gonna try that one. But I also have a pair of Neutron Watts and I really like the feel of these. So I think these are gonna be my main putters and then I'll throw the po proxy later if I need to. So we're going to give this a shot, just outside the circle. See if we can get up there with the lock. Oh, just missed it, but you know what? Not a bad run. Let's go tap that in, move on to hold number two. Okay, hold number two. It's 287 feet. We're punching through these trees and just past pine tree. I'm not sure if we can see it here. There's a basket tucked back there. So you need a low, straight shot with some finish, or you can go the forehand or turn over uh, through the left gap. I'm going to try and get up there with the Circuit Challenge Servo that I got. Uh, six and a half speed. I like it's a little bit more stable than the Crave. And uh, I don't know. I've thrown pretty well with this thing, so let's see if we can do that. Finish, finish. Ah, we got a little bit of a headwind. I think it started to burn over, uh, but we're about halfway up there. We'll see uh, so we can approach it. All right, we're dipping back into our MVP challenge discs again. So we're going with the tempo. So it's kind of like a zone, good for forehands. So let's see if I can flick this up to the basket. Oh no, we left ourselves with a little bit of a putt. That's okay. Let's see if we can get it for our putt. So that last hole was an example of this course, how it can just get you, you catch a tree early, miss a putt, and you get a bogey. So now we're one over. Um, but on to the next hole, hole number three, 439 feet. It's out from underneath the tree, so you've got a low shot to start. And you have an elevated basket at the end. So we're gonna go at it with the time lapse again, see if we can get out there for a good up shot. Oh, missed the tree, missed the tree. Ah. Now we're stuck under a tree. Okay, so after hitting that early tree, we're still about 300 out. So I'm gonna grab the old uh, Halloween Glow and Sandy 2021. These things have been money. They're super overstable. So I'm gonna see if I can get this thing underneath this tree, but out close enough to get us a fight. quite get out. All right, this is gonna be another bogey. Let's see if we can get up there and save the damage. All right, so we're in deep circle two, maybe circle three. We're gonna see if we can get up there with our envy. Not really trying to throw it in, we're just trying to get close so we can tap in our four. 
Oh, that was bad. All right, so we still got a putt. Let's see what we can do. All right, see what we can get. Woo! Try the envy. Say what? I missed my EMAC judges. And just like that, we are plus two after three. That's how it can just build up fast on this course. Uh, but it's okay. We're going to push to it. There are some birdie, uh, birdie opportunities available. Hole four is up that hill about halfway. 287 feet. So you're going to throw maybe three, 320 power. You get up there. We go to the zenith again. Got a little bit of wind. Let's see if we can uh, punch through it. Oh, that was close. I thought that was good in for a second. Let's see if we can get the bird. Hey, first bird of the day. Yes. All right, on the hole number five, we're kind of throwing from off the hill. 420 feet straight down uh, towards those beaches there. It takes a little bit of a flag shot, so we're going to go at it with our tenacity. See if we can get this thing to flip up. And do a little dance force and get us down by the basket. Oh, that was over. Well, that throw didn't go the way I wanted it to, but happens all right i thought for sure with the tailwind we'd be able to uh get further down with the tenacity but kind of going right to left and it got over and just kind of kept going over so try the tempo again baskets up there through those trees we're going to give it a soft back end so we can just kind of get this thing in just the right spot for our paw all oh, wind beating it down but we've given ourselves a putt. We got a little bit of a headwind, so I'm gonna go with the end. Oh, come on. On the hole six, 282 feet, is down this uh, row of trees, which is a whole lot more difficult when there's leaves on them. Uh, but it's down this row of trees, pretty straight. Got one big tree there at the end to deal with. So I'm gonna throw the Tesla, Neutron Tesla. Let's see if I can get up there. Ooh, that boy is stable. All right. <laughs> we got a circle two putt. Ah, I missed my discs. All right, we got ourselves a little bit of a jumper. And let's see if we can get the end of the up there. Oh, boom. That was unexpected, but I'll take it. Okay, we are on the hole number seven. It's 378 feet. It is down and bent to the right. So we're gonna go at it again with the tenacity. And let's see if like the last time we threw it, it'll hold that turn all the way around and get us up the course back. Oh, All right, we're, we're up there, but we're gonna have to chip up to get a putt at it. That's okay. We'll take our part, move on to the next hole. Yeah. All right, got ourselves a putt. Go with the envy. Let's try the walks. Right. Four for four. Move on to hole number eight. All right, on the hole number eight, 276 feet. Pretty much straight down, but we've got kind of a tunnel on the right side. So I'm gonna throw a disc, came in my gyro box. The Detour, I haven't thrown this one yet. Looks great in the gray and the blue. So let's see if we can flip this thing out there and uh, get ourselves a bird. Oh, 
Not quite, because I turned it over. But, oh, mice coming out. Okay, we left ourselves some work, so we got we got a jump butt at it, but we hit one earlier through the tree, so we're gonna try it again with the envy. Oh, right by it. Well, this is a disappointing par, but we're on to hole number nine, which is fun because it's an island hole. Let's get to it. Get it to hole number nine, and it is about 170 feet, and it is an island hole, so if you miss the island, there's a drop zone. It gives you about an edge of circle putt, so we're gonna try and get up there with the tempo. I think we're short. Not sure how we're short, but we are. All right, so we missed the island. We're short. I'm going to blame it on the cold. Wish it was the cold's fault. Uh, so we've got our drop zone. We've got basically an edge of circle putt to try and make par. So we're going to try with the enemy. Oh. All right, so we're going to take a four on this one. And that's what I mean. This course can get tricky, difficult, fast. <sighs> All right. So we'll tap this one in and go to back to hole one, which will be hole 10 because we have a different tee pad. So let's head to the back nine. All right. We are on to hole number 10, 378 feet, I think. Hang on, let me check. 345. There you go. All right. We're on to hole number 10. It's 345 feet. It is down. To the right, we've kind of got a punch through this, this stuff here. We are going to go with the MVP Photon. Got this one from Devils Tournament I won last year. Never thrown a Photon, so let's see how it goes. Ooh. I like that. Had a little bit of flip buff, a little drift to the right, and then stabled out. I like it. That should give us a jump putt up towards the basket. All right, that's a pretty good drive with our photon. I'm going to give it the old jump putt with the Glow Envy because this just kind of feels good in my hand. And the plastic's a little tackier than the Neutron of the Watts. So with the wind, I also like a little bit more stability. Oh, hit the tree. Tap that in for a par and then move on to hole number 12. Walk, but you risk OB and skipping it back, uh, skipping it back in. I'm gonna go with my gyro palooza crave and see if I can punch right down the middle. Ooh, All right, so we caught a tree, then it cut rolled back, but we'll have an upshot. So I am finding that as much as I love my MVP discs, I don't think many of them are gonna make the bag just because. I'm not quite flying the way I want. I don't have the range of stabilities that I normally throw. But that's okay. I have my ones in there that I like. Uh, that are already in my bag. Like my pyros, my hexes. My insanities. Working on beating in some time lapses. Because they're still pretty overstable for me. But it's always fun to try out new stuff. These challenge videos are always a blast. So, unfortunately, probably not going to make a whole lot in the bag. Alright, see if we can get up here at the end. In. Oh, we went long, but we gave it a chance. There we go. All right, we got a bar. We run to the next hole. Hole 12, 352 feet. Straight out this time. The other tee pad is further back, so I don't really have to worry about hitting these trees. It's probably foreshadowing. But we're going to see if we can actually get out there this time with the time lapse. Hey, we might actually have a putt for birdie on this one. Long putt, still a putt. I'll take the opportunity. Give it a run. Why not? Get it. Oh, 
On to the next one. 232 feet to the basket up the hill. Probably not the perfect disc for this, but I do want to show it off. I've got my custom dyed Pyro Rick, courtesy of Disc Fam. Thanks, Christina, for dyeing this up for me. It's a one of a kind. I think it's awesome. So we're just going to try and throw it into the hillside and let it sit down. Hopefully, not skip all the way down the hill. Didn't skip down the hill, but we left ourselves a long putt. That's okay though. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how a seemingly simple hole can get you a bogey, uh, especially with those rollaways. So, on the next hole, hole 14, 350 feet, we're gonna throw a fission wave. I have no idea what the weight is. This is one I found on the course, guy said to keep it. So I'm assuming it's pretty lightweight. So we're going to see if we can get this thing to bend around up towards the basket. Woo! Might be a roller. Well, rolling the wrong way. It cut back to the left and rolled backwards. So maybe not the best choice. All right, like I said, we kind of flipped over and rolled a little bit, but it's still about 40, 50 out. Let's see if we can just give it a little run. And let's try it. Go. All right, well, we're parked for a bar. Ooh, just missed. All right, let's tap it in, move on to the next hole. All right, that's pretty easy. Tap this one in, move on to the next hole. All right, hole 15 is 230 feet to the basket. Last time we threw from back over there and it was a straight shot. Now we gotta try and go around or forehand it. I'm gonna try and take the wide route with again, Pyro Rick, because as always, we're ace hunt. Oh, here we go. Get up there. Oh, no. All right. No ace, caught a tree, but should be in putting range. So see if we can pick up the rear birdie on this course and move on to the next hole. Yeah. Rare birdies, but I'll take them. All right, we are on the hole 16, 328 feet to the basket. Pretty straight tunnel shot. So I'm gonna go with the Zenith, see if I can get a little bit of flex and get it ended up up by the basket. Keep turning, keep turning. Hit, hit. Oh. Ah, didn't turn enough, now I got a long shot, so. Oh, that's a bad shot. Bad shot. Woo! Also, someone's yard. Oh, no. Oh. All right, we got ourselves another four. Move on to 17. All right, hole 17, 224 feet. It's down a little bit to the right, so we're gonna go at it with Pyro Rick. See if we can get up there and give ourselves a birdie look. We're sitting at plus two, and we gotta find some birdies. So we're gonna see if we can get one up there and stack us a birdie back. Today's just not the day, I guess. Ah, but I still like that desk. So we're gonna approach from there, see if we can hit a long putt. Oh! J 
just missed it. So we'll tap this in and then we'll move on to hole number 18. Right. Move on to hole 18, see if we can get back to, well, let's get one more go. All right, we made it to hole number 18. It's 259 feet to the basket. We're again at the island hole. Uh, there's a wide, wide area to the left if you've got the forehand. Mine kind of sucks right now, so I'm gonna go try and punch up the middle and do a baby flex with the Tesla, because this thing seems to be pretty beefy. So I'm gonna try and give it a little bit of Anheuser, let it flex back. Oh, oh. How is that thing so freaking stable? Yeah, here we are again. Buddy from the drop zone does I hate this island. Let's we'll see if we can get this apart. No. No. All right, well, that'll do it. Um, I think the biggest surprise out of all these today was definitely the Tesla. That sucker was flying overstable like my felon. Is the numbers are nine five negative one two. Definitely didn't feel that way. Definitely felt more like a nine five zero three. Um, definitely more stable. Maybe it's just mine. Maybe it's cold. I don't know. There's no turn in that thing at all. And uh, I was surprised that I ended up putting with the Envy. Thought I would putt with the Watts, but I don't know. The plastic was a little slick, and I was just getting good grip out of the Envy. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't plan on going full MVP back anytime soon. I miss my Berg. I miss my race. Um, what else do I miss? I miss my felons a lot. I miss my felons. So there's no danger in me going over to MVP full time. I do have some time lapses that I'm breaking in. I love my pyros. I love my hexes. Oh, and my judges. Cannot live without my EMAC judges. So hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. We'll see you next time.